All right, gotta do this one-handed. So, throttle up, taking off. Fighting the wind, fighting the wind. Bring it back this way. Keep playing. <laughs> back this way. Maybe. Nice little fly. And with the wind it goes. Fighting. At some points this little guy can uh, fight the wind and pretty much stay in the same spot. It weighs about 1.3 ounces. It's no match for the wind, honestly. Fly this guy on a quiet day. No winds. Sun's coming. Alright, we'll bring it around and do a landing. Into the wind, into the wind. Here it comes. Not too bad. I really recommend this plane. As you can see, I banged it up already. It's not too bad. I have a stock 150 milliamp. Here I also have a 160 milliamp in the uh, case. Don't recommend going too much higher. Uh, the battery will just pretty much weigh it down. It will give you a longer flight time, yeah, but it's not as quite as aerobatic. Um, still have it on the stock throw. It's on the very ends. I may eventually go a little bit farther in to get a little bit more uh, aerobatics out of it, but right now, no. Um, it gets quite a bit as is. Um, it's a great little plane. I quite enjoyed it. I think uh, everyone else would too. Alright, I'm back. I'm just going to give a little bit of tips on uh, changing batteries. Here's my 160 milliamp. I'm going to replace it. Um, if you're already bound to it, and you're changing batteries, do not turn the transmitter off. 
um, for safety reasons if you want to turn it off just in case something happens after you uh, put the new battery in, by all means do it. Um, but this will help you from having to rebind your uh, controller to your plane. And it's pretty simple, but I can't do it with one hand, so I will be back. Alright, I'm back. I uh, go ahead and replace the 160 milliamp to the plane. I have the 150 on the charger. Comes with your box. Um, as you can see, it's still bound, no problems. Um, I do recommend having two or three batteries on hand. If you're anything like me, you'll want to keep flying, keep flying. Um, average flight time for me is about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how much you use the throttle. Each time you switch out the battery, uh, make sure you put the used one into the charger. That way you can keep going without interrupted flight times, really, except for changing the batteries. Uh, that's really all I got on this little guy. It's an absolute blast to fly. And I'm actually waiting for my uh, keychain camera to come in. Hopefully I can mount it either on top or on the bottom. I'm still debating on which one I want to do. But uh, I'll start a new YouTube channel for uh, Aerial Athens, as it's called. Um, everything that you see in Athens is beautiful, so why not see it from the air? Check it out. Just as a side note, in case anyone else was wondering, um, notice how the prop is actually pointing down and from this angle and to the right. This is actually to counter work, counteract the torque that happens on a plane during the flight. When the prop's spinning, the plane wants to turn this way. So that's just a little quirk on that. Um, I thought I had bent it when I nosedived into a tree uh, when I first got it. Um, it turns out that I really didn't do any damage, and I probably did more damage trying to fix what I thought was broken. So, note to you guys and note to myself. Uh... Okay, so out of the box your uh, champ comes pre-bound. You don't have to bind it, but if you ever have to, I don't know if you can see, but there's a flashing red light inside, that means it's in binding mode. When you need to bind it to your transmitter, see it, turn it on, it doesn't react to the controls, turn it back off. But, hold down your left control stick and turn the power on. Make sure your throttle's down just in case. Alright, in a few seconds we should have controls. Yep, so that's how you bind your airplane.